be working with neuro filters today. We're gonna be diving into some neuro filter goodness using the colorize to work with some black and white photos. So come up here to filter and you can open up neuro filters. And there are a lot of different things that you can experiment with in here. You can do skin smoothing, smart portrait, makeup transfer. There's just a lot of really awesome things that you can do when you dive into using a neuro filter, make sure that you actually have it downloaded. It's got our black and white version and when we toggle it on, it colors it for us. It kind of reads what exactly is in there, what we're looking at and gives you the auto color image. Now, when it comes to all of the settings and stuff, it is really, really fun to noodle around in here. We can come over into the different profiles, retro green, retro high contrast, a little dark for my taste. If we bump up the saturation, just kind of see what we get. I just want to see what kind of colors we can get if I start bumping up that red. We can add that red as long as we come in and start messing with other colors. I wonder if the magenta, I think the magenta is a little too, kind of plays into that vibe we don't want. Maybe bring the red down just a little bit. We can also come in and alter the color artifact reduction. We can do a noise reduction. If I go ahead and hit okay, this is going to create a completely brand new color layer. But if you would like to output just to, as a test, we can do this. You can see it creates a layer that is just those colors that you can toggle on and off with a blending mode. You can kind of change this here, a new layer, a new layer that is masked. You can output as a smart filter or a new document altogether, but we're just gonna do new layers. One thing that is really cool to do with the neural filters though, is to isolate a subject, the focus of the image to draw attention. Come over to the object selection, depending on what your piece is. I wonder if we could use object selection to select our wee baby here and then do select and mask because it's got a little bit less and then come in to add and subtract to it. Let me hold alt paint out the things that I don't feel we need here. Now we have this selected and masked. Hit okay, change the opacity of the actual mask so that you can really, really see. You can come in and definitely change these things. Typically, honestly, when you see a mask, you see it as red. So you could change it to a color that you prefer, the radius of the edge of the selection. And we'll go ahead and say, okay, do duplicate that layer. We'll say, okay, just hit my mask button. Hide this duplication. You can see that it does mask out and we've still got our crazy little artifacts here, but that's okay. I'm gonna grab this painting that I painted. This is an original character of mine. He is called King of the Midnight Court. I gotta turn it on. Make sure you toggle it on. Oh! <laughs> It's so cool. I have painted something in black and white and it has detected and it has created a version of it that is in color. This is actually pretty cool and you can do the same thing with all of this. If I zoom in here, you can see what that really is doing. If I crank that color artifact reduction up, you can see the eyes, it kind of spread out so that it's more of one central color instead of clusters of different colors. I could come in here on a blending mode and make a new layer and let's set this to a color layer and I could kind of paint in manually. If I want to grab some more of this red and maybe I do want to add some more red into the bottom of the hair to kind of blend that out, maybe that's something I'll do. Maybe I'll even grab more of a gold color because I said I wanted to have more gold in his hair and maybe we start to kind of paint in some more gold. We could even turn the fill down so that these colors aren't so totally powerful. Experiment with neural filters, experiment with the colorized, and if you see something else in there you like, definitely test it out. And don't just test it out on photos, test it out on graphic art pieces. Get creative, think outside the box with these filters. Do whatever you wanna do. Adios, folks.